Hello friends, this video on chemical effects of current part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the question is, when exactly does the bulb glow? Now we have already seen that uh, initially when you do not switch it on, the bulb doesn't glow. And it glows only when this you switch it on or when you complete the circuit so this is known as a complete circuit where it provides that there is no break in between so that is called a complete circuit now the question is what special happens when the circuit gets completed and why the bulb was not glowing when the circuit was incomplete because this circuit is nothing but like a path for the current to flow so current needs a path it needs a road let us take one simple example in order to understand what is circuit. Let us suppose you have a bridge, right? So here you can see the bridge and this bridge connects two places. So let us say it connects two towns A and B. So on this side of the bridge you have A and on the other side you have B. So if you want to reach from A to B, you need to cross this, this bridge. So basically, you can imagine it like this, that there is a big river between A and B. So the only way you can go from A to B or from B to A is through this bridge. So here you can see this person on a cycle, he is trying to go from A to B and he is traveling on the bridge. So this bridge is actually providing the person a path to reach from, to travel from A to B. Now, just imagine a situation where the bridge is broken. So here you can see the bridge is broken. Now, once the bridge is broken here, what do you think will happen to the cyclist? Now, he will reach up to this point, but from here, there is no path. Now, since there is no path, do you think that he will be able to reach town B? No. So the current, so this person is like current. Or the charges so the charges will be able to flow only if there is a path so if the path is broken in between then current will not be able to flow right so the similar thing happens in case of this circuit also so when the entire circuit is complete only then current will flow through the circuit and when current flows through the circuit only then what will happen the current will be able to heat the filament of the bulb and that is when it will glow. So every current needs a path to travel and that path is provided by the electric circuit. Therefore, a current flows only when the circuit is complete. So all the now you can understand how your bulb, tube lights and fans, they start when you switch it on because the switches are arranged in their circuit in such a way that as soon as, soon as you press the switch, the circuit gets completed and that is how the appliances glow. When you switch it off, the circuit again breaks and that is why the bulbs get switched off. So that is how it works. So now let us talk about electric circuit because I am using the term circuit quite often. So electric circuit is a path for current to flow. So as I was telling you that it is the path required for current to flow. Only when there is a complete path, current will be able to flow. So normally how do we represent an electric circuit uh, in a diagram? So we make use of circuit diagrams where we use specific symbols to represent specific things. So this circuit diagram is drawn using the conventional symbols of different circuit elements. Now what are circuit elements? The circuit elements could be the various things that are present in a circuit. For example, battery, for example, the resistors, the capacitors. So all these things are like the circuit elements. Now for each circuit element, there is a specific symbol which is used. Now it is not always possible to draw a circuit where you draw a battery, you draw a resistance, you draw the entire circuit like that. It is going to consume a lot of time. So therefore there are some very simple symbols which are used for each of these things and which we make of these simple symbols to design a circuit or to draw a circuit diagram. So let us look at some of the common symbols which are being used. Now how do we represent wires? So wires are represented by straight lines like this. You want to represent a cell. How do you represent it? 
you represent it like this now any cell will have a positive terminal and a negative terminal because cells are the sources of electric current for electric current to flow you need a positive terminal you need a negative terminal so this cell you have the longer strand represents positive terminal the smaller one represents negative terminal how do you represent a battery what is battery how a battery and a cell are different from each other so a battery basically is like a bigger version of cell you can say so inside a battery you have multiple cells so how do you represent a battery it will be represent like this combination of multiple cells so that is a battery so that means both cells or batteries they are like source of electric current so batteries and they have a lot of cells so they can provide more current how do you represent a key key is nothing but key or switch whatever you call it how do you represent them in a circuit now there are two ways of representing a key now a key can be open a key can be closed what do we mean by open open means it is the key switches off the second option that is possible is the key is closed key is closed means the switch is on so key or switch so these are the two scenarios which we have to represent now a key which is on is often represented like this that means the key is open so the switch is off you see there is a breakage in the circuit now if it is closed in that case it will be a straight line that means it has got closed so the circuit gets completed so that is one way there is another way of representing the same thing if the key is open you represent it as like this and if it is closed it is represented as like this so both of them these can be used both of these symbols can be used now so these are some of the common things which we will be using as of now now as you go to your higher classes you will get to know about other circuit elements also like resistance capacitance voltmeter ammeter etc so right now we will just consider uh, these symbols these simple symbols rather so now let us try to draw a circuit using these symbols now let us try to draw the same circuit where you have a bulb you have a battery connected to the bulb and you have a key so how will you connect it so you will connect it with wires so let us suppose these are the wires so the wires will connect from a battery so battery or a cell which has a positive and a negative terminal now you will also have a key like this and let us say you have a bulb here and this is how it is connected so this is your cell this is the key so right now the key is open so the switch is off so the bulb is not glowing now as soon as you switch it on it will become like this right and the bulb will start to glow so this is how we draw circuit diagrams thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again